For some, the sound of this diagnosis is a punch in the gut. For others, it's the next challenge they must face in their life. But for breast cancer researchers, the escalating incidence of this disease has presented a sort of whack-a-mole scenario when it comes to understanding and treating this enemy of life. But there's a new game in town. For the first time in medical science, researchers here in the Delaware Valley have a club that not only knocks breast cancer down, but neutralizes and destroys this terrible disease at the core of its existence. So the cancer can never rear its ugly head again. As we've become more sophisticated in our understanding of the science of really what causes cancer, we're able to design more sophisticated treatments that target those genetic and molecular changes that lead to cancer. The whole concept with immunotherapy based upon that, that you really can target to mount an immune system sensitizing the dendritic cells and the T cells in order that they will attack those cells that are damaging the individual. We, we've had very nice results looking at the immune response rates and, and most of the patients, about 90% of the patients have a strong immune response against this HER2 when we vaccinate with them. The um, toxicities or the side effects have been fairly low. His immune response in patients is years out and that is what's unbelievable. So far, all the patients have had, still have immune response, six, seven, eight years later. Vaccine-induced immunoediting. It's a fancy term for turning off the switch by which breast cancer cells grow. And it is not only revolutionary, but it is working now in a small group of patients who have tried it. Dr. Zanicki uh, used my white blood cells to make a vaccine specifically for me and this was to uh, eradicate or wipe out uh, the HER2 new, which I was diagnosed with. He gave me the vaccine uh, once a week uh, for six weeks, right in my breast. And it was just like a little pinch. It wasn't hurtful, painful, scary, nothing. When they did the uh, lumpectomy following the vaccine treatment, uh, I was cancer-free. When Dr. Zanicki did the lumpectomy, he removed the cancer, and the cancer was already dead. It was gone. It was, it, the, the vaccine killed the cancer. To end cancer for my mother with this vaccine was about three months. Three months. Imagine no longer chasing the cancer once it has infiltrated your body, but rather receiving a vaccine that searches out and deletes the culprit of breast cancer before it even starts. By developing strategies that prevent recurrence or primarily can even prevent the cancer from forming, we may be able to apply the same strategies for other cancers. Once we solve one, the domino effect from that may make the others tumble very quickly. There's been sort of a snowballing of understanding of what causes cancer and how to target it and then how to use that in treating people that has resulted in real improvements today and I think are extremely hopeful for even more improvements tomorrow. This is not science fiction. It is a real treatment strategy that the top breast cancer immunologists in the world are now using and proving that it works. It doesn't devastate your body. It, it doesn't ruin your immune system. Uh, you are just free to live a normal life through the entire treatment. And now if the cancer comes back, the vaccine will go to work in my body and go after the cancer and kill it again. My mom has been cancer free for six years. Every time she goes for her checkup, she sends my sister and I a text, I'm cancer free, I'm cancer free. This vaccine has ended her cancer. But we cannot make this incredible treatment available without your help. Research costs, administrative fees, and drug development expenses have kept this incredible new treatment away from tens of thousands of breast cancer patients who could benefit from it. It is my life hope to be able to participate in this trial against reoccurrence. You know, the prognosis is still not good for women who reoccur with breast cancer. And that this trial goes back almost nine years now with no one reoccurring. I want this. 
Would you help? Can you make a donation to Pennies in Action? They've taken years off some of these trials that we've done. Uh, for instance, their latest advance is to uh, fund us for invasive breast cancer trials, which if we had to wait for the NIH or some of the other funding agencies may take two or three years before we got funding, then approvals, and so probably shaved off five years in that direction alone just from those two single trials. Right now, we're starting a new trial for invasive breast cancer that through the generosity of all the people out there, we have been able, in conjunction with the Handler Fund, to actually fund this new trial, which is absolutely amazing. And I must thank everybody that has joined us so far, and I hope our Army will grow each and every day. Will it be your dollar that pushes our research over the top so that this treatment becomes FDA approved and made available on a widespread basis? Would you? Can you? Will you? My hope is that this vaccine and derivatives of it, which can treat, will be able to treat other cancers, will become available worldwide, just as the Salk vaccine became available worldwide for polio and eradicated polio. We hope that you will answer their call so that someday soon we can all cheer loud and clear when breast cancer goes the way of smallpox and measles and polio, which were major killers in this world not too long ago. A cheer that will ring out game over for breast cancer. Each day we speed this up, we save 1,500 lives because that's how many lives get lost every single day to cancer. And we're hoping that game over will be much, much sooner than later. Please help us. We can make this game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. Because we play to win. To donate, go to penniesinaction.org, visit any TD bank, send a check to the address on your screen, or simply drop any change you may have in a Pennies in Action jar which you can find in various locations. For more information on how you can help, please visit penniesinaction.org.